macaroni frappuccino. What's she doing? Hmm? She don't want to be on the camera. Too bad. Good morning. Morning. It's Monday the... Uh, I don't know. 13th baby of May. Hi, how are you? Frappuccino said we had to wake up at 4.30. My morning alarm hasn't even gone off yet. Uh, so I'm trying to... Will myself to get up and start my day. Even though I really don't want to. <sighs> but I just have to... I just have to work today, and then I have two days of adventuring. So that's exciting. I do have a lot to do today at work, though. Excuse me. Friday, Heather was definitely burned out. I think I have three classes to grade from last week, and a handful of classes, maybe more than a handful, that still need to be graded this week. Um... I have to do some inventory today. I have to finalize my sub plans. And sixth grade is going on a field trip. So I have to clean the sixth grade projectors today during their sixth grade time block. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I need to do. Oh, and I need to clean off my cart my tech cart in case the sub wants to take my cart around to classes. So, yeah. She took a cart around last time, but it wasn't my cart and it didn't seem very useful. So she could probably just use my cart. <sighs> Excuse me. After I take off everything. All the important things that I don't want people messing with. I get the day started. I'm at least gonna go grab the sock and the strip and 48 laws of power. Hello sunshines, welcome to my office. This is the cart that I teach from. I don't know if I've actually introduced my cart. Here she is. She's fabulous. She theoretically has everything I need for being out of my classroom for eight class periods a day. Um, these two baskets are coming off. That was just a special Friday thing. Um, but yeah, it's got my knitting on the other side of here. My water bottle lives, so it's perfect. Anyway, look how cute I am today. I feel so cute. I feel so cute. Um, I'm definitely wearing this tomorrow. So I'm going to go home and throw this sweater, at least, in the washing machine. Maybe the dress. We'll see. But the sweater's been in school for a couple weeks, so definitely washing that first. But look, they fed us this morning. I have a uh, Asiago cheese bagel with cream cheese and some fruit. So exciting. I love being fed. Not on my own dollar. <laughs> I mean, I love being fed, period. But it's better if I don't have to feed myself. So yay, that. Which means that this breakfast smoothie that I made for myself is going to last probably to lunch. And I even brought leftover Chinese food for lunch. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Maybe today. Who knows? Anyway, I'm rambling. And Mara's being Mara in the background. She's very loud, I told you. Hi, everyone. Check out my YouTube channel, Cute Heart Mara. I will link it down below. I just oh, no, overheard. I forgot to mention that one of my mermaids told me, told me to tell you that they said hi in a video. Oh, okay. Video Did they? Okay. Awesome. Um, it just made my whole morning. One of the sixth graders, they're here early because they have a field trip today. One of them just said, oh, hey, Mara, I just watched your new video. I commented on it. That makes my whole life for her because she desperately wants to be a YouTuber. But I won't let her live her best YouTuber life because I don't have the mental capacity to deal with her being a YouTuber. Like... I don't, I don't have the mental capacity for her to be on social media and stuff. 
not as a single mom teacher. If I was her manager, if she was making a bunch of money off of it, that would be different because that would be my job, right? But it's not my job, so we can't do it. But anyway, it just makes her whole day and that makes my whole day. And I just think it's so cute. Oh, it's raining. Can you hear it? Probably not. It's very faint, but I can hear it. Oh, I love that. It was thundering all morning. That is my most favorite sound to wake up to. Like, some people really love bird sound song, and that's nice too, but thunder? <sighs> Oh my gosh, friends, it's 9.30 in the p.m. on Monday, and um, I took a two-hour nap after school, and I don't have to teach tomorrow, so I'm just going to stay up however long I want and not try to force myself to go to sleep. Um, and I just checked the mail because I prefer to either check the mail right when I get home or not until after dark. I don't know why. Just the the neuro spicy it do what it do but those are my preferred things but look what i have a happy birthday package this is not something i was expecting i'm so excited let's see what's in here oh my goodness y'all okay so a birthday card how exciting is that look at this what look at this so this is, it's two hanks of this really beautiful bluey, gray, green color. Um, it is called Midnight. It's two different types of, of alpaca. It's DK weight. Oh my gosh. This is, can I make myself like the most luxurious cowl out of this? Is that what I want to do? Maybe like a snood type thing. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. But like definitely next to my skin. It's so soft. And this cute little greeting card. And look at this bookmark. How beautiful is that? And these progress keepers. Oh my gosh. They are gorgeous. The owl is green. The fish is a blue green. Sort by Joyful Creations. There's some lotion, some sleep balm, a soap. This is cucumber melon. Smells so good. Show me what you're mermaid of. That's so freaking cute. I'm going to see if my daughter wants this one because she's all about mermaids. Um, a set of knitting needles. I haven't tried the basics. This, look at these green minis. Gorgeous. I just, I can't. And then this has progress keepers and y'all look at these progress keepers what they're so beautiful oh my gosh they're so cute I can't even this is such a thoughtful like birthday present and it's so it's so ironic because I was literally just thinking like I'm taking myself on this birthday trip tomorrow and I was literally just thinking about how nobody does things for my birthday which is fine but I was like it's fine we're taking ourselves on a birthday trip and it will be lovely and then there was a birthday present for me and yes I am about to cry on camera because like I don't know. It's just so nice. And it's so strange to have someone remember my birthday. I mean, yes, I know that I've talked about it on the blog, but like, I'm really, really used to people forgetting my birthday. So this is just so nice. And it's all 
so thoughtful. It's so curated to things that I like. It's amazing. It's so amazing. I need to remember to send a thank you letter, note, email maybe. I don't know. It's so lovely. It's just after 10. I just finished editing last week's Monday through Friday vlog. I have this much left to go to be caught up on this blanket. So this is my fourth ridge today because I, I didn't do it all weekend. So you're so noisy, kitten. Um, so yeah, doing good. Um, I think I'm going to put away my package. Like I'm going to finish this row. I'm going to put away my package. And then I, I think I'm going to start packing for tomorrow. I have my packing list written right here. It's not a complete list, but I'm going to start packing. Because, um, so right now, without traffic, it's two hours and 40 minutes to get to Grand Rapids. Which means tomorrow, with traffic, it's going to take way longer. But I also think I'm going to stop and get breakfast, and then maybe stop and get lunch, and, like, leisurely drive and stop a few places. And, yeah, I definitely have to get gas at some point tomorrow. So, I'm going to start by packing tonight. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Oh, okay, so I only packed a little bit yesterday evening, which is fine, which means I have to pack this morning, which is fine. I don't actually have a time when I need to be on the road or anything because the event I'm going to isn't until this evening. So, I mean, I guess technically if I'm not on the road by three, like I'm going to have problems, but you know, if I go drop off my kiddo and then have to come home and pack some more, that's also fine. Or if I drop off my kiddo and then I can go, that's good too. So yeah, we'll see. But I want to jump on really quick because yesterday I worked on the sock that I've been working on at school. Um, I got through the first part of the, of the mystic spiral, spiral. So I'm in the middle. I'm going to do this um, teal stripe and then do the other triangle in gray. So I really want to get this sock finished today. Like, yes, I have a lot of driving, so that'll cut into that time. But I can take this to the book talk and... I have some time before work this morning. Not work. <gasps> I don't have to work. Oh, my brain just autopiloted that. Oh, but I'm not going to work on this. Okay, so before I go, I need to pack and I want to do my dailies because I don't want to take my dailies with me. I want to leave those here. So I'm going to work on my dailies this morning and want to pack and then we'll see what... We'll see where I am in my day. I'm also going to be editing the... What? What you needed? He keeps talking at me. Play with that whole plastic bag. What you need? Are you perfect? You are. You see my baby. I'm also going to be editing the weekend vlog because I haven't done that yet. Um, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I think that I was fine not editing the vlogs because I knew that I was taking off today and tomorrow from work. I do also have, like, paperwork and stuff from work that I... It's the end of the year. I just... I can't take off two full days and not do any work. 
So I brought some paperwork home, so I'll be working on that. Um, stuff like inventory and um, end of year awards, things like that. Working on report cards because they are due in about two weeks. A little over, but just about two weeks. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll be doing some work at some point between today and tomorrow. But... I don't know. It's it's really, really nice because yesterday I could feel, I could feel the stress because I have to do my teaching job, right? I teach eight classes, seven to eight classes a day. I am teaching all day. But then I also have this other side of my job that... I have to figure out how to get done when I don't actually have enough time to do it. So, so I will be doing some of that. The, like, inventory of all of the things. It's, it's a lot. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to start my day. I'll see you in a little while. Hey, sunshines. I am in the Meyer parking lot. Oh, I dropped my kiddo off at school. My littlest kiddo. My oldest kiddo is not going to school today because it is a rehearsal day at their school and they are not doing performing arts. So we compromised. They have some makeup work to do, which they're going to send me pictures of throughout the day. And they are going to do some yard work and some chores around the house. Not a lot. Like, obviously I'm taking a day off, right? But like on days off, sometimes we still have to get stuff done. So we compromised. <laughs> Instead of going to school and having it be a pointless day, they're going to do some things around the house and then have most of the day to themselves. So that's exciting. I have to go get gas. Um, I'm at my urge so I could get snacks and breakfast. I got um, a couple small smoothies because they were on sale for two for five. I got some blueberries, some pumpkin seeds. I got sushi burritos. That's going to be such good breakfast. Um, I was going to make myself breakfast at home, but then like I just, I didn't get there. So yeah, it's so weird buying car snacks for just me, but kind of nice too. I don't know. I'm, I'm combating this feeling. I feel super guilty for taking the day off work. But uh, it's so cool. It's And I'm so excited. And why do I feel guilty? I deserve this. So I deserve this. That's the mentality I'm trying to remember. Okay, off to get gas and start my adventure. Hey, sunshines. So I am at a rest area taking a short break so I can have a snack and use the restroom about a little over an hour away from my destination. So yeah, I'm having some uh, sushi burritos. Very excited for this. <laughs> Probably more excited than is warranted, but whatever. I can be excited about whatever I want.
Hey sunshines, I got to Grand Rapids and I accidentally drove through downtown and got super, super stressed so that I was like, oh my gosh, I need to run away. And while I was running away, I came across a botanical garden. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful here. And they had an art gallery and I'm just, it's stunning, it's amazing. I'm so excited. I stumbled across it on accident. And I can't wait to share it with you because it's so beautiful. And it's a lovely day. It's um, low 60s. It's a little, a little drizzly, but not like wet, wet, you know. Beautiful day to walk through gardens and art exhibits. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's so beautiful.
very cute. Sunshines. So I'm at the hotel. It's a, a what is it? A Wyndham Baymont. I don't know. It was a relatively inexpensive for a night, is what it was in the area I needed to be in. But it's nice enough. Now it's time to unpack. You want to unpack with me? Two minutes to unpack. Good job, me. I just had the best time. It was so good. The like the talk was so good and all of the authors were so funny. Two of them were people I was not familiar with. Um two were authors who I've I've read much of their things. And the moderator of the talk was is my favorite author ever. Did I fangirl at her? Yes. Did I show her pictures of the t tattoos that are based on her books yes did I probably was I probably like a little extra yes but I'm also probably never gonna see her again in my life so and um if I do it's fine because I just love her work so much so much she signed my book <laughs> so I got some new books I'm going to show you. Okay, this one isn't new. This one I've had. But now it's signed. So there's that. Um, this isn't signed. I only got this because it's the third book in a series. And I just, sometimes I just want to buy books to support authors that I like. Um, and I've read the first two books in the series. I'm going to read this one. I'll see if it's any good. This is, this is being added. This is my additional summer TBR, in addition to the books that were um, gotten from the library, except this one. So this one, The Empress of Salt and Fortune, I've already read this, but Nevo signed it. I'm not going to show you to who because I'm sending it to a friend. Friend, you may already have a signed copy of books by Nevo, but I don't know, and I just really want to send it to you. So. Um, this is Can't Spell Treason Without Tea. It's a Tomes and Tea. It's like a cozy fantasy book. I don't know. It's not really my type of book, but I'm going to try it out because maybe it is my type of book and I just don't know it because I've never read one. So I'm going to read that. Um, she was really, really funny. Rebecca Thorne, very funny. Also Nevo, hilarious. Andrea Hairston have not read her before um, this is the book that out of her books she wishes got more love so if she loves it so much of course I have to read it so I'm looking forward to that um, poster girl is the book that Veronica Roth wished got more love and I haven't read it so I'm gonna read that and then this one among crows um, just released yesterday or today by Veronica Roth so I bought that 
and Archangels of Funk. This is the book that um, Andrea Hairston was like, this is her tour book, you know, the one that just came out. Um, and it sounds super cool. Like she was describing it and I was like, okay, this could, this could be something that I'm really, really into. So I'm so excited for these books to join the ranks of my summer TBR. And also I really like that this one has blue edges. I had such a good time. I like, I can't, Honestly, the level of energy that I have, I could probably drive home tonight. I'm not going to. I'm going to chill and enjoy having a hotel room to myself, even though it's so weird. It's so weird. Like, I... Having a whole place to myself is so weird. So... It's fine. I'm gonna knit some. Oh, you guys want to see some knitting? <gasps> yeah, let me show you that in a second. I'm gonna knit some. I'm gonna work on a little bit of schoolwork tonight. Um, I do need to take off this makeup, even though, like, why can't I just wake up with this eyeliner situation? <sighs> Tattooed eyeliner seems like such a good idea. I basically wear the same eyeliner that I've worn since high school basically. It's a little more winged now, but not really. Anyway, and then I'm going to read, oh, I'm going to read some of Air Fire and just, <sighs> such a cool experience. Totally worth trying. Um, Andrea Hairston, the people in front of me were from Flint, Michigan. That's like 45 minutes away from Grand Rapids and she was like are you from Flint too and I was like no I'm from around Detroit and she was like how far did you drive and I was like oh it was you know between two and a half and three hours and she was like oh my goodness <laughs> like, I really wanted to be here so I she was she was such a treat to hear talk I don't know her work at all but I'm going to I have two of her books. I'm going to read them this summer. Oh my gosh. On the chance. On the chance that my friends are watching this. Well, on the chance that one, my, my one friend is watching this. The other one definitely isn't. But thank you. You were right. I deserve this trip. This whole day has just been like so good and tomorrow is gonna be so good too so yeah I'm gonna get changed into jammy type things and start vegging now oh my gosh such a good day such a good day okay so I was Working on the knitting of this at the Botanical Gardens today. Um, it was definitely in this section. Maybe before then. I don't remember. Was I all the way down here? Or was this yesterday? I don't remember. But the sock is finished except the Kitchener. But I'm not doing that. I don't Kitchener at night. And then um, I had this. Did I, did I cast this on yesterday? Or did I cast it on this morning? I feel like I cast it on this morning. So this is the fingerless mitt for my kiddo to match the leggings. And I am in the thumb gusset. So I did all of this, excuse me, at the book panel thing. Good job, me. Look at how much knitting I did. I had such a great day. Okay, I'm done humaning now. I'm gonna potato and sleep. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good morning, sunshines. Happy Wednesday, the 15th of May. Um, I am 
about to get out of bed. It's now 6 a.m. I've been up since a little before 5. Excuse me, because of course I woke up before my alarm. Right around the time my kitten would normally be waking me up. So I'm sure he's waking up some, or I'm sure he woke up somebody else. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and get breakfast. And then I have, um, I have some grading that I need to do. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna pack up and head out from the hotel and go visit my best friend. I'm so excited. So, I already started packing last night. Like, obviously, dirty clothes and stuff got packed. I packed up my books, so packing won't take very long. Probably not the two minutes it took me to unpack, but probably, like, less than ten. So, yeah, let's get this day started. Okay, so I came home, I put the clothes in the laundry, and, like, the clothes from my trip in the laundry, and then I put my books away. This is my incomplete, yes, I said incomplete, summer reading list, because I'm still reading Air of Fire. Um, I had to return 48 Laws of Power to the library today because it, um, it has been requested by somebody else, so I can't read it, um, which means I am going to start. Which of these do I want to start? Do I want to start the climate book today or art for self-care? I think I should save this for summer when I can actually like do some of this stuff. So I'm going to start the climate book today because i got to be reading some nonfiction every day. My shelves down here are a mess. Because I had to make space for my reading. Um, that's our secret. Nobody's going to see that on Instagram. Just you and me and the vlog. Um, so yeah, I have two cubes of reading for summer. Which doesn't start for three more weeks. So I might finish Air of Fire by then. Maybe I'll read something else. Um, it's also incomplete because I have a book, a nonfiction book coming in the mail. It was supposed to be here yesterday, but now it says it's going to be here on the 17th. So I hope it is because it's for my online book club that I'm a part of. If not, I might have to order the Kindle version. <sighs> Which I think will be less cool than the version I ordered. Um, and there's another book by Nevo that these are not in any sort of order. I just put them on the shelf so that they would be on the shelf. But now I'm going to organize them. Um, there's another book by Nevo that's coming out. I think it comes out the 25th. I think. So that's on hold at my library for when it comes in. Um, so that's three books that I do not physically have right now that I want to read this summer also. Now I'm going to organize these. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I rearranged it to be kind of like by urgency, I guess. This order will change throughout the summer. This is not the order that I'm reading these books in, but this is the order that I feel the urgency to read them right now because this one I'm sure someone has on hold. I really need to start reading this very soon. Um, very soon. <laughs> and then this is new, so may or may not be on hold. This is my oldest book from the library. And then... These, I'm just really, really interested in reading. Partially because I just went to that book talk. So, 
So we'll see about when these get read. Um, it's likely that I'm going to start one of these four because they're thin and I can leave them in my purse um, to take to work for the next couple weeks. So there's that. And then these are like my lower, my lower urgency reads. I want to read them, but you know, July-ish is fine. What is my child doing? Being the most loud. So yeah, those are my thoughts on reading. What do I want to take with me to this concert? Like, a little bit, I think maybe I should take my oldest kiddo's fingerless mitts. Um, because I was making good progress on that. And then I'm like, oh, but I should work on the the sock, the um, mystic spiral, because... I should get that finished by the end of the month. And then I'm like, I should take the cowl because I haven't used up a mini in days. It's been a lot of days, but I can always catch up on minis on the weekend. So I don't know. I don't know. It's a surprise. I haven't decided yet. Also, I really like the color that my eyes are today. It's a very cool color. But first, I got a new flower letter today, so I'm going to read one of the other ones. And, um, oh, I also got my webs order, so that's cool. The yarn for my reading blanket. So I put that yarn away because I haven't finished a book, so I don't need it right this second. But for when I do, it's there. Okay, so flower letter, probably while I work on today's knitting of um, stripes. Yeah. Okay, I have finished the stripe on the strip for the day, and I think that's just two more colors, and then I'm done working on this for the month. <laughs> um, I haven't quite finished the stripe for today on the sock, but I did want to stop by and say that I decided to take the fingerless mitt because it's in the thumb gusset, so it's not a really great place for school knitting so I'm going to get it to school knitting and this is where I am before the concert this marker so I'm gonna work on this until I go consider this finished it will be um but I'm not exactly sure when my sister is getting here like in the next few minutes to take me to the concert okay so I did a lot at the concert it was a end of the year showcase concert thing it wasn't really a a concert concert. I mean, there was singing, there was dancing, there was a, like a short play in two parts. Um, it was a showcase. My niece goes to an arts high school and they performed at a local community college, um, auditorium. So that was pretty cool. So this is what I did while I was there. Three and a half ish stripes. So my kiddo wants long mitts, so I am um, working my way up the forearm. So I'm going to have to do some um, increases soonish. But I started the ribbing so that they would stay up. And um, I think I'm going to cast on the second one. Um, maybe tomorrow <laughs> because I don't want to forget where I increased and how. So yeah, maybe I'll cast this on in the morning or in the afternoon. It, I don't necessarily need it, need it for tomorrow at school because I do have the beginning of, um, the second of these. Let's see, can I find it? Da -da -da -da. Yes, it's right here. So I have just the very beginning. So there's um, there's plenty of knitting to do for my breakfast duty, and I can do the short rows while at school. So 
that's fine. But I have to do a full stripe on the cuff and then two stripes before I even have to worry about short rows. So, yeah. That'll be enough for tomorrow. I'll figure out this for Friday. Um, I am going to put those aside, though, and start the climate book by Greta Thunberg. Um, I'm going to read about 10-ish pages a day. It's broken up into these sections. So, like, I'm not going to start reading on 18 and stop at 20. I'll just read to 23, but the 10-ish pages is going to be the goal. And I haven't done my stripe, not my stripe, the ridge, the garter ridge on the pride blanket. So I'm going to do that while I read this. I will check in with you in the morning. Bye for now, friends. Hey, sunshines. Happy Thursday, the 16th of May. Uh, I haven't checked in at all today. I haven't done any of my daily things today. Work was okay. It's definitely end of your crunch time. I came home and took a nap because I didn't sleep enough last night. So, yeah, I'm just, I don't know, it's 9.30. I'm hoping to be to bed around 11. We'll see. Until then, I am going to work on trying to do my daily things, because I didn't do them yet. <laughs> Hopefully I get them done. Uh, minus the mini. I'm not going to even attempt a mini tonight. But I would like to get my, um, my stripe on my bias strip, my stripe in my sock, and a ridge on the pride blanket tonight and read some nonfiction because I didn't read any nonfiction yesterday. So We'll see. I'll probably check in in the morning. I just realized I hadn't picked up to record at all today yet. So sorry. All right. I did my stripe and my stripe and I even remembered that I wanted to not do patterning on the back of it now. So Good job, me. Um, but now I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I didn't do my nonfiction reading. I didn't do my garter ridge. I didn't do a mini. It's fine. It's fine. Excuse me. I'm sleepy. I'll catch up over the week. Good morning, sunshines. Happy Friday, the 17th of May. Um, okay, so I did my stripe in the bias strip and that mini is all used up so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do I'm torn between um, I want to put in a black stripe here just like one black ridge and then put in whatever's left over of that there why my cat is climbing on my headboard that's that sound um, and then, okay, this is what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do two stripes a day on these socks, um, which tomorrow is going to look like doing the last stripe above the, um, above the heel and then putting in the heel and then two stripes a day after that until the sock is finished. And then maybe go and put two stripes a day into this with this leftover or do I want to continue one stripe a day with this sock and then um, and then maybe put a stripe onto my other strip, my other bias strip, like pull out my stripe stash and start working on that. I don't know which one I'm going to do. I haven't decided. So we'll see. I haven't decided on that one. Um, but anyway, I started reading the climate book. I'm like three pages in. 
so just barely. But this is my weekend to-do list. I've already done two things on it. Good job, me. Um, and then today I also want to get this lesson plan and video submitted for my video observation. You know, the one that I recorded a week ago or something, two weeks ago, ever ago, recorded it forever ago. I need to just make the lesson plan. That's the thing. I need to make the lesson plan. So that's high priority today. But other than that, um, I'm feeling super low energy because it's that time of the month with the hormones and the cramps and the bull. So, um, I'm feeling really low energy. It's probably why I didn't record anything yesterday. Um, so instead of like making myself a big to-do list with like things to do, it's mostly reading and, um, chores that I would do anyway, but giving myself credit for the chores I would do anyway. And I am going to my LYS tomorrow because, um, it's the last birthday party at the LYS and it's for me and my teacher friend there. So yeah, I'm also probably going to buy stuff since everything in the shop is on sale and yeah. Um, we'll see what's left. We'll see what they have that I like. And, um, and I'm doing a rotation. I'm working on a rotation basis this weekend rather than, um, having that big to-do list. Um, I think the rotation is going to take about two and a half hours to complete. So my thought is I would like to do one rotation today and then um, three rotations tomorrow and four rotations on Sunday. That's my goal. And that should get most of what I want completed to be completed. But we will see. Okay, I have to start getting ready for school. This is what I where I was yesterday. So I did almost a stripe during breakfast. And then I didn't knit on this anymore yesterday. Um, I think I might be able to knit a little more today. I have some things that I need to do, but I will be walking around classes more than I did yesterday. So I'm going to move this progress keeper and see, and see, look how cute that is. Oh, I love it. Hey sunshines. All right. It's Friday afternoon. I am home. The school week is finished. Very exciting. And now I am going to start my rotation. But first, let's show you, where did it go? Here. Here's the knitting that I did at work. Almost none. Very little. Um, I did do some embroidery at work. So that's this. And I did start Into the Riverlands by Nevo. It's very good so far. Loving it. Um, even though I'm already reading the climate book and air of fire, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. <sighs> okay. Let's get this started. Let's get it started. I don't really want to do anything, but I also don't want to do nothing. Well, we have a little, a little fledgling Robin on our back porch. Don't know what to do. A little nervous for him. We, we, we can't keep the bird. Why would we keep a bird? For what? To do what with? So Frappuccino says I never let him do anything fun. But I was just walking outside to hang something else on my drying rack outside because it's warm. And, uh, there's just a little fledgling robin. Hopefully he's okay. We do have quite the population of outdoor cats around here, so 
but that's the circle of life. I'm gonna go let, go let him do its thing. Google said leave him alone and he's fine. So I'm gonna trust Google. I'm gonna trust Google on that one. Oh, I'm doing laundry. I'm doing the cleaning. I don't want to do the cleaning, but I am doing the cleaning. Good job, me. So proud. You're a mighty hunter. Found a whole binder clip. Great job. Wanted to hunt the bird instead. Would have been happier with that. He'll be fine. We don't need to hunt the bird. <laughs>